Okay, so hey guys, this is going to be a video on my closure. I know a lot of you follow me on Instagram and you've seen my wig that I posted with my closure. And a lot of you are asking, how do I get my closure to look so natural? How do I get it to blend and not look wiggy? Okay, so this is a closure that I'm wearing. My closure is from Magic Hair Company. The closure is the Indian Wavy Lace Closure. All I did was bleach the knots on my closure. Now, to bleach the knots on a closure, I always use the Purple Cladia Colors Toning Bleach and I use Clairol's 40 Volume Developer. So, I always use these when I'm bleaching when I'm bleaching a closure. To me, this gets the closure at its best, like it bypasses that orange stage and it'll get the lace like almost white. So it bleaches all of the knots and I want to say that when you're bleaching a closure, it has a lot to do with the closure. Like I feel like Magic Hair Company closures bleached so easy for me so that's why they're my go-to closures because in my opinion, they're the best they're my favorite closures so this is a lace closure and I think this is a small one it's like a three by four or something like that it's really small and the density on the closure is what makes it look so natural it lays super flat because there's not a lot of hair on the closure it's like the perfect density I don't remember the density on it but I'll put it in the info section below as well as the link to magic hair company so the wig is your standard U part wig. Now I sew the hair on a spandex stone cap just like any other U part wig that I do. Whether I'm using a closure or not, I sew it the same way. And I do have a clip of how I cut the excess cap off and then sew my closure onto the cap just like that. Now I will say that when I sew my closures to my cap, I I'm already measured, I already have the space measured for the closure. Now what I do is sew over where I've measured the closure because you know when you cut the U out of your cap, the cap widens. So I always sew, you know, over what I've measured just because I know it's going to spread. So once I do sew my closure to my cap, it's like a perfect fit. It's snug, it's not going anywhere, and it lays the closure down really flat. Now I'm going to zoom in so you can see what the closure looks like up close because like I told you in my Q&A video, um, closures look natural, but when you look close up, you can still see like the holes because it's knotted. That's why I said silk base closures are nice because it's a silk base and it doesn't have like the, um, the holes in it like a lace closure does it. But for the most part, it looks natural from walking around. Nobody's going to be able to tell that you're wearing a closure unless it doesn't look so, natural. this is what my closure looks like. There is no product whatsoever on my closure. All I've done is I part my hair. I part the same line that you see on my closure on my real hair so that it'll be... So you'll see the skin so it won't be dark or cloudy or anything like that. So when I do attach my closure, well put my wig on, I make sure that my part underneath is lined up with the part on top. So that's all I've done and my closure lays flat because my wig fits perfectly. So there's the closure right there. So as you can see, it blends perfectly with my scalp. There's no makeup, no concealer, no anything. This is my natural scalp color and this is what the closure looks like with the knots bleached. So, like I'm telling you, like up close, you can see the holes, but you can, as you can see, there's no black knots because I've bleached them. So, it looks pretty natural, like, and it's, uh, as you can tell, it's already a little behind my hairline. So, the clothes is right here. My hairline is right here. So, none of my hair is out. It's just brushed back, and my closure just covers that up. So... And that's all that I do. So I will insert a clip of how I sew the closure to my cap. I do have a video on how I made this exact wig. Um, but 
I need to edit it. The lighting is bad. And, um, yeah, so if you guys want to see that video, just let me know. And I'll try to edit it and get it up tomorrow. So, um, yeah, this is it. Um, this is how I do so all my So, my favorite closures. companies for closures are Magic Hair Company will be number one. And then Princess Hair Shop for number two. Because Princess Hair Shop has small closures, too. Like, they're almost exactly the same except for... They're a little bigger than the Magic Hair Company closures, and there's a little bit more hair on it, but they do the same. I have a Princess Hair Shop closure that lays just as flat, just as good as the Magic Hair Company closure. So, if you're going to ask which you I prefer, either Magic Hair Company or Princess Hair Shop, they both have lots of closures to choose from. And they're small, and they all come with the protective ring around it that I always tell you guys about. And that just protects the lace closure. Like, if you're going to sew it and it doesn't have that ring on it, you just have to be extra careful because you, when you pull the thread through, it can easily just rip the lace. So that's why the protective barrier helps. So yeah, this is it. And if you guys have any other questions, just leave them below. And my review for this hair is coming up too. So that'll be uploaded tomorrow as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.